Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry I haven't um, filmed in a couple, I think like two weeks now. Um, I've been super busy like behind the scenes. I had to film some stuff that you guys will see soon, but I just haven't been able to like post it myself. Um, but you guys will see it soon. And I've just been like super busy. I feel like the first week of like the first couple weeks of April, I was like slammed with so much stuff to do. Like it was insane. And then like when I was finally like done with all of the stuff that I had to do, um, they started doing construction on my house and I wasn't able to film because they were here for um, days like doing construction. It was so loud and I wasn't able to film. So I'm so sorry, but now construction is done. I'm finally like chilling out, like things are calming down again. Um, so here I am. Today we're going to be playing around. I'm super excited about this video. I got this huge package from About Face um, the other day, I think like maybe last week or the week before. Um, and I also went to the event for this as well. This is like the Saturation Nation collection. You guys, this collection is insane. This huge box, like this is literally right up my alley. I was so excited. I love the matte fluid eye paints from About Face. So when I saw that they were coming out with all of these colors, I was so excited. I absolutely love About Face. I feel like not very many brands nowadays or like any makeup launches, honestly, like nothing really catches my eye anymore. And I feel like every time About Face launches something, I always get so excited. So um, I'm so, I was so, so grateful <laughs> that they sent me this package because I was like, please like send me this. I wanted it so bad. So thank you to About Face. You guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, I have all of it here and I'm so excited to play around with it today. I have a 11 new matte fluid eye paints and six new matte lip paints and then six lip liners as well. Um, literally those are like my favorite products from About Face so that's why I was so stoked about this collection. I use the matte fluid eye paints all the time. I use them as eyeliner or just kind of like a base or just kind of all over my eye all of the time. I bought the Day Tripper collection like myself and then I bought some, if you guys remember, I did a whole video when About Face first launched and I kind of bought one of everything when it first launched. So um, ever since then I fell in love with the matte fluid eye paints. I think they're probably one of my favorite makeup products ever to exist. Um, they're so good. So, so excited about this one right here, the red one, because you guys know how much I love red eyeshadow and it's so hard to find a true red. So that's why I was so excited. And it's also vegan. So that is awesome. Um, and then also this, this is like right up my alley, this green one. I actually wore it already. I wore it like the day that I got the package in. I wore it as eyeliner. It was amazing. Um, I have worn them already, a couple of them so far. Um, I wore this orange one the other day. I posted a picture. I'll put it right here on the screen amazing um so but i want to show you guys kind of how i like to, like to wear them maybe i'll try a couple different looks with them as well you can use them in so many different ways so i was so excited i've been like wanting to film a video with these since i got it in the mail so i'm so excited to finally be sitting down and filming with them so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it like i said you can use them a bunch of different ways so i have a couple different like synthetic brushes um if i want to like use it to like blend anything out because you can blend them out and they work really nicely like that i want to do like a couple different looks just to show you guys um how i like to to use the matte food eye paints and stuff. They also just came out with this um, shadow fix. I saw Halsey using this in her Instagram live and I just made everything pop so I'm gonna be using this as primer today. They also sent a cute little mixing palette which I love because I usually use the back of my hand um, and I still like to use the back of my hand. I just feel like it's easier for me to work that way. The favorite thing about the matte fluid eye paints, um, one because I know Halsey is a painter and um, I love that she made them kind of like how she would with paints and stuff so you can mix them. Um, they also have a white one like this isn't new I think they already had this one but it came in the package and I didn't have it so I was super excited but you can definitely mix in the white with so many different colors and create different ones also they have like different sections of each one that like launched with this collection so they had like the red yellow and blue as like the primary colors and then like the brights and then the neutrals which I'm going to try one of the neutrals I haven't tried it yet um to just show you guys like how you can just like throw it on like that but enough of me talking I'm going to try I'm going to do different looks like I said so I have some makeup wipes right here <laughs> to just kind of wipe everything off. Off with first is Capulus, just to show you guys like how um, I like to use them. So you can use them kind of just, I like dot a few on and then just kind of blend it out and wear that all over. So I'm actually going to start off with the Shadow Fix and this is what it looks like. It just comes in like a little doe foot applicator. 
so I'm just applying this. I don't have anything else on my eyes right now. Seriously though, I love About Face. I feel like it's one of the only brands right now, especially celebrity makeup brands, that like actually cares about like the artistry and like bright colors. It's always giving us like fun bright colors, which you guys know I love. So, um, okay, yeah. So like I said, you can just definitely take this on like the back of your hand and then like kind of do it and then apply it like that. I'm just gonna apply it straight to my eye like this and blend it out with my finger just to show you guys how easy this is. So this one is like perfect for literally every day. I'll just apply it and then just kind of bring that out. So easy to use, literally just like blending that out and with no effort at all. It looks like just an eyeshadow. It looks just like, oh, I love this color actually so much. I haven't tried this one yet, but this is like perfect for every day. That was so easy. It took me like five seconds to blend it out. Um, and you do have a little bit of work time with it, which I like. It doesn't dry down super, super fast. So you do have like some time to work with it a little bit but that was so easy and this is like the perfect like everyday eyeshadow look i like i said i haven't tried this one yet so i was so excited also the shadow fix i really like i feel like it does make the like shadow stick to it i'm just gonna show you guys again um i just applied like two three little swipes of that and just pat that in and it blends out honestly like on its own this color is beautiful if you're like my skin tone or like a little bit lighter or like maybe a little bit darker, this is like just enough where it still looks really natural and it's just like so easy. Look at that. And that's like perfect everyday color. I also have this one which is um, light transcending. This is another like neutral one. It's a little bit more on the like peachy orangey tone but I'm sure even this blended out. Like, that's another, like, perfect just throw on all over your eye. But look at how, like, easy that was. And like I said, once they set, they are set and they don't budge or anything. So let's take this off. Another way that I like to wear them are, is also as eyeliner. This is how I find that I wear them the most. So I think for today I want to do... Mm, I want to try this purple one. I have tried the blue one. I'll put it right here. I wore it the other day to the Dodger game. I wore the blue one as eyeliner the other day. I have worn the green one. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I love the green one as eyeliner, but I haven't tried this purple one. You guys know how much I love purple, so I am going to put a little bit more shadow fix on. I swear my eyes are going to be raw after this, <laughs> um, but it's okay. We love testing out. I just like want to show you guys like how many different ways you can wear them. And my favorite way to apply them is just with a little angled um, eyeliner brush like this. This one is from Lancome. It's a number 24 brush, and I'm just going to apply it actually a little tiny mirror it's so easy and this is how i wear them the most often and look at it's just they're so pigmented right away they glide on so easily and i swear like since there are so many colors especially you can mix different ones i feel like i never need to buy another like colored eyeliner ever again clean that up a little bit with a concealer brush but seriously like did you guys see how fast and easy that was over twice and they don't like pick up on each other which is really important I feel like because I feel like that happens a lot of times especially with colored eyeliners um but see like one's just going it over one more time and it's just like perfect eyeliner I love it uh, I'm gonna try another color because why not um, as eyeliner since I haven't tried the pink one actually I'm gonna try this one this one is called oh by the way the purple one is called new karma wait yeah new karma this pink one is Lazona Rosa this is like a really pretty uh, like rosy color I'm gonna try this one and see how that one looks that's what the pink one looks like and it's really cute that's another way that you can wear them as eyeliner. It's so often now because it literally takes me like three seconds to do it. So anytime I'm like wearing a certain color or something, I like to just add that eyeliner now and it's so good. I love it. To do like a lot of graphic liners now. I've been doing graphic liner more and more just because like I said, they're so easy to use like that. Back with the purple one, just to show you guys how I like to do this look that I've been doing more recently. I just like to place where I'm going to go in and then I'll just literally just look straight into a mirror and this is how like easy they are to use 
And I like to just connect that to the outer corner like that. And then I'll go back with it like full intensity. I like to sketch out like where I'm going first. Just like a fun little graphic liner moment. Like that's how easy they are to use. Like I just did that graphic liner look in less than a minute and it's just so easy. So that is the purple one. I really like this color a lot. It's like the perfect purple. I'm applying a little bit more shadow fix. By the way, I absolutely love this. This is the first time me trying it and I definitely do think it makes a difference with the uh, eye paints. I feel like they really do make them pop a little bit more and I think it sticks a little bit more um, than just using them like when I usually would just use it on my bare eye. Next look, I think I want to do more of like a halo type of eye. I want to use the red and the orange together. I have not used the red. I'm really excited though. I'm going to blend them out. This is a little synthetic brush. This is from Luna Magic. It's just like a random brush I had, but um, you want to use synthetic, synthetic brushes with cream eyeshadows or liquid eyeshadows or anything. So I think I'm going to just like apply it I haven't used the red I've been so excited to use it though and for this being vegan this is insane oh I'm so excited to use this that's like all over my eye but I'm just applying that is insane this is a vegan red by the way you guys I'm speechless <laughs> oh, okay I'm gonna do this before it sets <laughs> let me blend this out um, but I'm just placing that and then I'm just blending this out. And look at how easy they just blend out like that. Kind of keeping the placement a little bit. <laughs> Actually, just going to use my finger a little bit too. I want to really soften that up. <laughs> just blending this out. It doesn't take much to blend out either. Obsessed. This is so pretty. I have waited to use the red so I could use it on camera because I knew it was going to be good. But my god, I was not expecting it to be that good. I'm going to take the orange in the center. The red one is called Stream of Consciousness, by the way. And then this one is Spectre. Yeah, Spectre. This is the one I used the other day, like all over my eye. I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. Blend that into the red. Love this. I'm just taking some in the middle right here. And I might go back and re-intensify that, but my god, that is so beautiful. A little bit more red. Insane, like, how good this is, and especially for it being vegan, a vegan red, I am... Speechless. I went ahead and just uh, took that one off. I had to bring in a little bit more reinforcement than a makeup wipe. I had to use my micellar water. This is from Bioderma. Like this is what really takes off the eye paints because like I said, once they're set, they're set. Um, and yeah, I feel like the red one was a little bit harder to take off because that one was kind of sitting for a little bit longer. Um, but we, we made it through. Uh, I'm going to apply a little bit more shadow fix and this is going to be the last eye look I think I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I really love the shadow fix. And this look I'm gonna do kind of the look that I did the other day with uh, the orange. I'm gonna do like a two-tone look. I'm gonna use the green and yellow but I might add a little bit of white to the yellow just to get a little bit of a lighter more pale yellow. Um, and I'm gonna just do like a big big wink. <laughs> I like to do this I honestly just apply it straight to my eye. I'm gonna mix some of the yellow and the white on the back of my hand because this is very much like primary yellow I want it a little bit lighter so taking the white one which is called white noise by the way if I didn't mention that I'm just going to mix that together to create more of a pale yellow I definitely think I could take a little bit more white could be using the little mixing palette but I just feel like working on the back of my hand is easier make it a little bit more pale and I'm going to apply this with a little brush. You can apply it straight on there, but since I mixed it, I'm just applying it like this. And halfway. I'm going to look straight just to see where I need to, how far to bring it up. A little bit further up. Just so when I look straight, it shows. 
since I do have a little bit of a fold in my eye. And then I'm going to go in with the green one. This one is Virgo Flowers. And I'm just going to wing this out. This color is everything. I love it so much. And I'm just bringing that into the yellow. And I'm going to blend that with my finger. And I'm going to go back and clean this up with some concealer. And I'm just going to go back and forth just to make sure that the yellow and green get nice and blended together. I need to get like really close into a mirror so I'm going to kind of clean this up with some concealer and stuff real quick and then I'll be right back. I had and just finished up the eyes. I had to like get up in my mirror to like clean up the edges and stuff but this is what it looks like now. Um, I did set the yellow part with just a little bit of eyeshadow just so it would like set and make it pop a little bit more. Um, but I just put on some lashes real quick and this is what it's looking like. I really, really like how this eye look turned out. Use um, some of the lip products, Happy Endings. It might be a little too light. It's like a little light. It's called Momentary Bliss. It's like a little bit in our pink. Oh yeah. I love these lip liners. They're so creamy. I use them as like lipstick all the time like by itself. I'm going to add a little bit more of Happy Endings just to kind of make it a little bit more nude. Like that. And then I'm going to use Sad Song. Just make it more nude, I guess. Too nude for my liking. I like the color. I think I'm going to change the lip liner though. I'm actually going to use Clockwork, which is my uh, favorite lip liner from About Face, but it's not from this collection, but... You know, it is what it is. And let's go over the edges of this. Not feeling the lip. Maybe if I add a little bit of Nudist Judas. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I feel like I overlined my lips way too much though. I hate the way my lips look when they're overlined. Like a cute little lip concoction real quick with like four different lip colors, <laughs> but um, Nude is Judas and Clockwork are like my favorite lip combos always. I wear these all the time, so I had a feeling I was going to end up using it today. Let me take these little clips down and I'm actually going to add some gloss. This is just from Colourpop. This is a Lux Lip Oil. Love. Perfect. This is the finished look for today. Um, I really just wanted to play around and show you guys how I like to use the matte fluid eye paints. You can use them so many different ways and I think my favorite one that I did today was the like red one. I love that one so much um, but I really like how this look turned out too. They're so vibrant. I love them but that red is incredible especially for being a vegan red I honestly am so shook and I'm really glad I waited until I tried it on camera with you guys but um yeah I definitely would say if you like colorful like eyeshadows and stuff definitely pick these up they are seriously so good I can never get enough of them um like I said I had bought the like day tripper ones sometime last year and then I also got some like originally from the launch as well and I've been obsessed with them ever since I think they're such a good makeup product um if you haven't tried out the lip liners, please try them out. They are so good just like on their own as lipstick. Like they are amazing. Lip paints, they are so good. It's like one of my favorite matte lip formulas. Even though I don't even like to wear matte lipsticks anymore, the formula is so good that I look past it. Also, I am so pleasantly surprised with the Shadow Fix primer. I definitely think it made a huge difference with the eye paints. Um, I usually just put them on my bare eye or sometimes I'll use some eye primer, but I definitely think that this primer really makes them stick and makes them really bold and vibrant. So um, I usually am not one to like recommend eye primers and be like, oh, like, because I feel like my e.l.f. one that I use all the time is really good, but this one... I really liked. I definitely saw a difference when using the eye paints today versus like how I usually use them. So I'm definitely going to keep using that. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to play around with these even more. I love literally I, I'm not even joking I use them like almost every single day I just want to like do a pop of color really quick I just do like a quick little eyeliner with these and call it a day. Also like the Capulet one is so good for like just to throw on and nothing else like it is 
fantastic. I cannot get enough of these and like I swear the minute that I saw that they were launching all of these colors I just was so excited and thank you to About Face for sending that package over. Truly is like one of my favorite PR packages I've ever gotten. I've never been happier. Um, but seriously, like I love these so much and I feel like the possibilities with these are just endless. You could do so much with them. I feel like these do not ever get enough love. I feel like now I finally see like more and more people using them all the time, but like I feel like I have been using these since like day one and I love them. So um I'm glad I could like show you guys how I like to use them and stuff and hopefully um, if you do pick these up hopefully this gave you some in like inspo <laughs> um, but yeah anyways I hope that you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video bye